Release. SRB chamber pressure looks good. PU has gone to closed loop control. Pitch over is complete. And the RD-180 is now throttling down to maintain acceptable dynamic pressure limits on the vehicle. All systems continue to look good. Vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Atlas is now four miles in altitude, one mile downrange distance. All systems continue to look good. Mach 1, Atlas is now supersonic. The RD-180 is now beginning to throttle up. Engine response looks good. Vehicle attitude rates are well controlled. Angular rates are near zero. We've had SRB burnout. And the RD-180 has throttled back up to full, full thrust. Engine response looks good. Atlas is now 16 miles in altitude, 10 and a half miles downrange distance. Booster systems continue to look good at this time. Atlas V weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of 2,800 pounds per second. Standing by for SRB jettison. And we've had indication of good SRB jettison. Vehicle's now executing closed loop steering. We have approximately two minutes remaining in the Atlas booster phase of flight. The RD-180 is now throttling down slightly, as expected. Engine response looks good. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. We have BECO, booster engine cutoff. And we have indication of a successful stage separation event. Pre-start on the RL-10s. And we have ignition. Vehicle has executed closed loop guidance. And we have indication of aeroskirt jettison. This first and only burn of the Centaur upper stage engines will last just over seven minutes and will place the Centaur and Star Laner in a suborbital trajectory. Upper stage systems continue to look good at this time. And we have Miko 1. Both RL-10 engines have shut down. And we have Starliner separation.